welcome to KarateMart.com. KarateMart.com. Kara Every time. I'm Corbin. And I'm Ian. Today we are talking about trick chucks. Now I don't know anything about trick chucks. I can tell you a few things about tell trick me, chucks. Tell me about trick chucks. So here's the deal with trick chucks. Uh, they are nunchucks, mm -hmm. but they're thinner, ostensibly lighter, uh, with a slightly shorter cord. Okay. And and then that allows for some uh, some faster uh, motions and some sometimes some more complex motions. Tricks, if you will. Tricks. I brought I brought candy as like a contrast to to trick trucks, like treat chucks. But this has nothing to do with like trick or treat. Not a trick or treat. Like, this is a poorly advised. It's a well, not a strike on this one. Okay. Um. Do you do you have? A I do. I actually never leave home without them. I have some right oh, here. Oh. Okay. Well, let me just, uh, so these are a pair of our trick chucks. Uh, mm -hmm. These are the ones with the round profile. They are connected with this nylon cord here, so they're quiet. There's a whole thing with the chains and the cords. Uh -huh. The cords have a smoother motion uh, and a silent motion, and really more degrees of freedom than a chain. You know, a chain, a link can only move, you know, in so many directions that it's not interfering with itself. Right. So now we've had this since November 2016. But when we first unveiled them, they had a, a steel cable, right? They did. They had a steel cable. Um, and it just, it wasn't ideal. It wasn't ideal. There, we had some issues with them fraying, and, and then also they were kind of stiff. We took some feedback from our customers, we changed the design, and now we're using this nylon cord, which is better in a number of ways just for using them, uh, because it's more flexible, but it's also replaceable. Oh. So it's something that you can take out yourself if you wanted to change the color of it or adjust the length in some way, uh, something that a person could do at home with minimal tools, experience, or skill. Did you did you just drop something? I may have just dropped something. Let me see. <laughs> what do we oh, have here? Oh, those are the hexagonal trick chucks. They're, Hex they're just basically the same, except they have a hexagonal grip. I would not say basically the same. These are totally different. What What's different? They have a hexagonal grip. That's what I said. I guess it's a more important distinction because you can hold on to it better because your hand is segmented. It makes a hexagon grip. The original trick chucks, they have a machined grip to help with that, to counteract the otherwise complete lack of friction. Some of the things that we like about these are that uh, because it's the, the hexagonal profile on these, is that they can slide against each other. There's some ways that I've seen guys do these that's pretty impressive. Where these, because they have the grip that's like this, they're a little rougher on themselves. So uh, these are kind of a smoother motion that way, and you can line them up with the grooves in your fingers and kind of get a, you know, you can control their rotation a little bit. Oh, so that helps with the tricking. The tricking. Okay. The tricking. Okay. And so both of these, they're like... They're 11 inches. Okay. 11 inches on these guys. Okay. And so then they're also thinner than most, even speed chucks. Even the speed chucks. They're about six or seven ounces, which is light, you know. They're, I mean, they're made out of aluminum, so it's, it's not as light as it would be. Something. Six or seven ounces? If it was cheese, you could eat it in two bites? You could eat it in two bites. I could. I love cheese. Is that TMI? Don't put that on. These are the hexagonal gripped trick chucks. Very similar to the hexagonal trick chucks, except they have this grip right here, which looks a little fancy, also designed to help maintain your grip, you know, increases the surface area, which increases friction. Well, it's a, it's a grip thing, and it also informs your hand position. You can feel really where they are, hmm. where, where you've got them. Hold on, hold on. My hands are right here. They're informing my hand position. Made right here in the KarateMart.com Ninja Forges. Mm -hmm. In right. them at the, at, made right here at the KarateMart.com Ninja Forges. I wasn't going to correct you, but yes. You were thinking it, though. They're in and at. Yes, whenever someone makes a grammatical error in speech, I notice immediately and judge them. Smug condescension is one of my favorite things. Mm. So, uh, you might have noticed that we have not so far demonstrated the trick chucks. That's because we're inside. 
But we do have a satellite feed with Big Red. Big Red. Who's outside. Big Red, can you can you hear us? Oh, he's he's a ninja. He he can't talk. Yes, as, as you can see, he's demonstrating how to use the trick chucks. Some some tricks that he knows or she. Big Red is in disguise. She has some sturdy eyebrows. <laughs> and some some guns. But we're not here to assume anyone's gender. And here's Big Red demonstrating a wrist spin. Oh, wrist spin. Okay. Wrist spin. To, the, to the best of his or her ability. And here you see Big Red using two trick chucks at the same time, which you can do, although these are sold individually. One thing that we should probably stress is that these nunchucks, although they're made out of solid aluminum, they're not designed for self-defense. You could, I mean, you could, you could hit somebody with them. You could probably defend yourself with them. But they're thinner, so it's harder to, to hit things. Like if I... Just... Big Red's having trouble hitting the suckers. Let me try again. One more. One more. You can, you can do it, Big Red. I'm not very good at throwing anyway. Oh, Big Red's not very good at hitting, it seems. Oh! <laughs> One more. This time I mean it. Oh! Let me try one. Let me try it. Okay, okay. All right, Big Red, give this a go. Ooh. Too close! Too close! So check out these aluminum trick checks at KarateMart.com. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to click subscribe and the bell icon. You get the notifications. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. Hold on, let me see how close I can get. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have vision insurance. The KarateMart.com health plan. Just a series of exclusions for nunchucks, swords, A lot spikes, of waivers. A lot of waivers, that's what our insurance covers. Mm -hmm.